For this video, we'll be going over the features of the knowledge base, starting off with how to write an article. So I'll start off by going to my clients, selecting Tesco, and I'll go into my KB section. Now here we can see our folders for organizing our articles and our individual articles that maybe don't quite fit the criteria for organization. But let's start off with a new article. Now I have a few options here. I can start by writing a blank article. I can create a new folder. I can upload a PDF if I have existing documentation that I'd like to add to my instance. Or I can start from a template. But let's start with a blank article, naming it new, and let's start writing our new article. Now we open up here into our editing section and I'm not gonna go over each tool, but I will point out one that's connected to another feature. So I'm gonna add my title here and then I will be adding a subsection. So this will create a table of contents for your articles and this will help manage your longer articles or ones that have specific sections that your users will need to reference. Now that I'm done with writing my article, I can choose a folder to place it in, but for now I'll leave it on no folder and I'll publish it. Now here we can see our article and our table of contents that populated with the titles. I can close that if I'd like. But now I also wanna be able to share my article. Now if I can create a public share link, copy the URL. Now anyone I give this URL to has access to this article. So I place this in here and this is what they'll see. Just the only general article sense, they have no other options and if you have custom branding, it'll appear at the top. If I decide that I wanna close off the article or close off that link, I can regenerate the share link, disabling the past one, only making this one the new accessible copy URL. If I wanna remove this from everything entirely, I can make it private and all links are expired until it's open again. If I want to turn this article into a template, I can select my manage button and mark as a global template. This means that any company that you write an article in will have this option to write documentation. If I decide to globalize it because I feel that the information within this article, this highly detailed article, is actually relevant to other companies, I can globalize. And this will move it to my global KB section right here at the top, which will always be accessible. Go back to my main menu. Here we can see back in our KB, our new article here, which was removed from the previous company and permanently moved to this location. If you have any more questions on the knowledge base, Feel free to leave a comment or open a ticket.